What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robert, and this is Rare Drop Roleplay Meteorian Core Episode 11. Ooh. For a second there, it almost felt to me like you were going to forget your own name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Robert. Robert. <laughs> I missed my foot pedal <laughs> to start uh. the timestamp. <laughs> I was like, did he forget his own name? No, I'm just a male that can't do two things at the same time. Can't, can't pat my head and rub my belly. I'm over here going, where is it? No one can do that. I refuse to believe there are people who can do that. Grade school, I got shamed all the time. There were kids. I saw them every day. Really they, now? Oh, oh, they bully. Oh, yeah. And I'll be honest. Yeah. I think. I think it's genetically female advantage because that I've seen more females knock it out of the park than males in my grade school experience. The, the <laughs> trick is to get the circle going first and then throw the pat in on B with the circle. So oh there's still God, a rhythm. Man, stop showing off. What the hell is this? <laughs> there's there's yeah, also the hand version, on. right? Where you go like uh, this and you got to flip. That's the thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we used to do that with like uh, live long and prosper. No, just, and just, just, just one it. finger at a time. So, finger and pinky, and then you oh. flip them. And yeah. I can't do it because it's impossible. So, when one hand has a pinky up, the other has the pointer, and then oh. you flip them. Yeah. I've never uh, even done that one. All of this just feels like the same Game of Thrones meme where they walk through the streets. Shame, <laughs> shame! I bring shame to my clan. <laughs> I like everyone's so very concentrated funny. looks as they're staring at their fingers. Why aren't they working? Real mission today. Had it for a second there, and it was like, oh no, no, you you yeah. don't have this at all. You, you're, you're just you're a moron with no tactile sense whatsoever. Cool. Hi. Oh, the great equalizer, Bife. The great equalizer. <laughs> this is how I will take over the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. One piece at a time, Toph. One piece at a time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, has got big announcements for this week. D20 Deathmatch. It's this Sunday, and we're going to have amazing individuals. Miss Pagetech, of course, is a returning individual who we love to death. And we're also bringing on George, who many of you who've hopped over to our channel know how amazing he is. And so it'll be exciting to have him finally on our show as well. Glorious George, to be exact. Glor glorious George. There's glorious. There are a lot of Georges, but there is only one glorious George. Uh, big announcement to interrupt all announcements. My father just text messaged me from Florida that the weather is bad. Just to Correct. let you all know that oh, the no. weather is bad. The, the weather is bad. Just making sure y'all okay up there as if it's an all encompassing United States storm. <laughs> yes. Yes. If it storms in one place in Florida, it storms everywhere in Florida. Yeah, the clear skies here in California are menacing, honestly. Listen, there's, if there's one thing that I learned after moving to Florida is that your parents will make up any excuse to talk to you, and it usually has to involve the weather. Uh, I, don't I don't know how many times my dad calls me and says, hey, I saw it was storming in Florida today. Uh, is it all okay? Like, That's yeah, true. it's fine. The storm. <laughs> I look out yonder onto the fields beyond my windows and I see nothing but dark clouds. <laughs> Although mainly that is because it is fucking nighttime. <laughs> and then my dad says, what's with the fucking accent? <laughs> you know, I, 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 my, my dad worked outside for his entire life. I understand watching the local weather or weather channel local on the eights. I never understood the obsession with sitting there and watching world weather for the hour. Like just, it was like some like because it's essentially unless something horrible is happening, it, it, nothing going on. It's just smooth jazz. Or in that case, it's like doom scroll, death day. Like no one will recover. Like <laughs> straight pro wrestling style coverage of some disaster somewhere. But I digress. Back to actual announcements. <laughs> that was a good announcement. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Papa Robert. Anybody else doing anything this week they want to let folks know? Or if you have any cool weather happening. <laughs> let us know. Here. Same old, same old. Mm. I mean, if you all like some D&D &D and more of it, Mindari, who is a big D&D &D streamer over here, is celebrating their three-year stream anniversary. so I'll be joining them Saturday 
at 12 30 nice. eastern it'll be Big fun announcement. we're just hanging out we're just chilling I'll, I'll be there for an hour and we're gonna have I'm, I'm gonna try to make a party hat with some hot glue and foam and we'll see what comes from it <laughs> just just Actually, hot glue i have an announcement because i keep forgetting to announce it i have a DD podcast called forgotten paths and it's an amnesia campaign and i believe that we've released episode nine uh it releases every monday on podcast form wherever you listen to podcasts so slowly we are learning who we are each week alongside the listeners is that why you wild. forgot to tell us about it <laughs> maybe actually <laughs> that, that explains <laughs> it i, I never knew your commitment to the story <laughs> <laughs> it's method acting baby you are my <laughs> cooking podcast and i get to share dm notes with your lovely dm noah who we're mutual He'll friends with like- I was talking to Robert today and I'm like, about what? He's like, I can't tell you, but I was talking to him. (laughs) (laughs) DM confidentiality. Keep your counsel. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, it's nice to have a DM friend where you can be like, hey, does this sound right? Or you should I do this? And uh, and it's always like, oh, yeah, do the horrible thing. Yeah, don't push it to the limit. (laughs) Mm -hmm. He's got to get gassed up every once in a while. They're worried about can't their players. Them, can't tell them anything about it, though. It goes against the democratic oath. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody I'll else? That, I will be leaving. Adios. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> More wine, please. More wine! <laughs> we'll be playing <laughs> the Arc 1 finale of Witchlight right after this tonight, so get yourselves ready for... Eight hours of combat, baby! <laughs> As we fate Bavlona, the bog hag, right after this. But anybody else has any other crazy announcements? Just want to let everybody know that is out on the interwebs that is trying to find Reckoning Hour. At the moment, there are a chunk of the VODs that are missing currently on rare drop roleplay i will let you know that will be rectified soon hopefully within a month there'll be a consolidation of videos so whenever everything is back in one place there'll be a big announcement and i will let everybody know sorry for anyone who's been interrupted in their feed but those stories will be coming back very very soon Hmm. picking up where we left off last week Negotiating your way into Baldur's Gate for free. Using some timber merchants of whom you've swimbled and convinced that Xanran is soulless, the world famous bard. Through mimicry and some amazing persuasion and deception rolls. And a lucky or unlucky hand, whichever way you see it, has found your way here. Sailing across the Cheyenne's are Making a pact to avoid all social confrontation. Instead of acknowledging and leaving the boat together to head to Solis' show and maybe dipping out in a hundred or so different ways, you all have chosen to load up into Jacob's locket. His genie's lamp. Produce a scene that looks like a demonic invasion had taken forth. A blood pentagram using Toph's own blood and a little bit of Thomas's from a ripped off wing. I put it back on Nelson. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's Tommy! (laughs) But unfortunately, an invisible Jacob throwing a nat one, trying to make it up the steps, bumping into Steve and having to try to fend off the crew by himself in a city that already has trouble with demons and devils. After a heroic almost escape down to his last HP, wings furled, Jacob trying to make his way off of this ship, down by the last arrow from a bard in the distance 
we pick up immediately with Jacob hitting the deck, instantly expelling every single member inside the locket. Also, in his last ditch effort, Jacob summoning Tanaruk once again. A straight demon from hell. Now unleashed on the deck of the ship. You know what that means? We're not out of combat. As each individual is now prone on the ground surrounding Jacob. If it makes you feel any better, I loosened up the guys downstairs for you, so. <laughs> but they squat. The, the guys downstairs should be, you know, you just gotta clean those up. Wait, wasn't that like the easy group? Hold on. <laughs> uh, there was like six of them or whatever. Uh. Okay. One second as I grab the other guys from the basement to put them in, or not the basement, but the uh, builds of the ship to get them in this initiative order as well. All right. How many we got down here? Did you knock out one of them? Four or five? Oh, um, uh, one is very close. One is very close. These are all going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It will take them a turn to get up the steps is how I'm going to rule each and every one of them. Because they're a tad bit spread out. All right. We will copy. And we will paste. Big Steve. Lumen. Now I will include everybody in the turn order. All right, Jacob, naturally you fall at a zero. Yeah, but it's like a cool zero. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh God. <sighs> Where am I? Robert, did I roll? Where are any of us really? Did I roll that initiative correctly? What a waste. How do I even I mean, roll this carousel? Oh, there it is. You get to control how this all goes. <laughs> One <laughs> second, no everyone. Uh, I, oh, I'm not going to be able to hit anything <laughs> now. <laughs> I believe Wait, in you. I don't think I'm in the order. Don't, don't worry. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You were okay, sleeping sorry. over the side. I got to move your, move your guy over. Sorry, I was so worried. <laughs> All right, now I have everyone there. You instantly notice that you're bald now. Yeah. It was one feather. You probably don't even notice it. That was a big initiative roll. All right. Here comes all the fun. Oh, oh I see a oh. 19. <laughs> Surprisingly, the, uh, the, crew, the crew from the merchant ship is fired up. Hell yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. So just to go over this, even though we are in combat order, this allows you to still talk freely, make persuasion checks. Uh, you do not have to feel the pressure to set swing. If you make dialogue, you can then hold a action, but it is just a piece. Like it is one swing 
or it is one spell that you release based off a condition. So you can make as many pleas or talk as much as you want and then keep it as contingency to see to wait and see what happens or you can feel the free to act and use the rest of your turn. Also, uh, we'll be a little bit more freer with the dialogue. You're not gonna have to wait exactly to your return of your turn to like a call and response. You can still, you don't need a long diatribe, but you can answer back and forth. So there's some flow. Xanrin, freshly expelled from the locket, laying on your back on top of the ship now. First things first, you need to roll a perception check just to see what the hell is even going on. All right, let's take a look and see what we can see. All right, perception check in, 28. I, I'm actually first. I, didn't, yes, didn't yes, same roll a nat 20? Yeah, but it has me at the end for some reason. Did you oh. roll it inside of? Foundry, or did you roll it inside of uh, D and D Beyond? Uh, D and D Beyond, but it showed up in Foundry. Got you. What do you mean? Likewise. Uh, sometimes it does. It, it does funky things. It doesn't. It doesn't like it sometimes. That's all. Also, also, oh, yeah, yeah, Glam is definitely before me in the tunnel. Yeah, I see it. I just didn't get over to him. I know. One when second. You mess with it, it doesn't auto scroll left or right. It's a little annoying. Uh. One second. All right, so you are a 0.17, so you'll be a... What's your uh, uh, plus to initiative, Biddy? Uh, three. Three. Three, so you're a 23.17. Oh my God, are you guys tied? You both 0.17s? I'm 25, I get a plus yeah, five. He's got oh, you got a plus five, okay. Yeah. Got it. Those Kinku, man, they like going first. DM Kinku. All right, it is your turn, Nelson. <laughs> Very do, confused. Do I need to do the perception? Yes, please. Or? We'll keep that perception roll, by the way, Xandrin. Right, you won't cool. have to roll that again. That'll be yours. Oh, okay, and I roll mine. Nine. Sleepy boy is sleepy boy. Slightly confused with what the hell has broke loose. You've spilled out onto the deck. With a nine, you don't know if Jacob is dead or alive yet. You can see that there's a demon out and there's another individual on deck that does not look like your friends. Is that this guy I see here? Yes. Okay, that's all I don't see this. Now the peripheral and the giant in the back, nor the guild piper, only what's in front of you in this little little patch. I know we're treating standing up as a bonus action since we're prone, or is it a full action? It's 15 feet of your movement. Oh, dang, right, okay, cool, even better. Okay, cool, so Nelson is going to groggily stand up, uh, a little bit lost and confused, and trying to figure out where the hell uh, they are and what's going on. Sees the demon, sees uh, the scattered friends, and sees this strange individual who uh, they're wearing that hat. I assume. What do they? What do, what do they look like? As their picture, they got the brim turned down, sides up. Nice Fu Manchu going on. Uh, <laughs> rough leathers. How much? How much background city or wilderness do you have? Um, wilderness, I'm I'm pretty awesome. That is my yeah. You don't know who the hell this guy is. I'm a hermit, so it's like a Bill Sykes looking dude. Hmm. <laughs> Watch out! It's gonna be bife cam for just a second as I move him. <laughs> Lower okay. daddy. Do do I know that he's a bad guy? Like I just popped out of the locket. You I don't know, know shit. I don't know what shit. Okay, cool. Um, well, I'm going to, oh, hi. <laughs> Very glamorous. Uh, <laughs> I need that on the soundboard. Very glamorous. Very glamorous. 
I want that to be my new sub. sub <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I was, I was casting someone at a tournament at one point, and I just said, "Here comes Benj," and that is now their sub alert. <laughs> <laughs> So it's happened before. Um, so I, I don't. I think Nelson's extremely confused about what what's going on here. There's a giant demon, obviously, in front of him. Uh, but we're at the edge of the boat, right? I don't have any. You know, you do or... know that you were being sherped out, and you you can tell that like, it's 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 gone. You know, more tits up. It's not good. Okay, and. We are, this is water if I go over there, right? Like that's in the in the drink. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my bearings on the map. I mm -hmm. apologize. Yep. Okay. Um, so we can't really move that way. <laughs> uh, so I'll stand up and then kind of start shifting this direction so that I'm not in a corner as I'm like eyeing down. Um, well, the, the demon is the demons like facing us, like looming over us, like mad at us right now. Demon's just spinning around. It's freshly released from hell and no longer has a master, and it knows. Right, right, right. Okay, 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 okay. I apologize for asking all these, like... You weren't here last session. Questions. It is okay. You're trying to get your bearings here. It's a lot at once. It is, it is. Um, all right. I'm going to... That thing doesn't really know what's happening. Cowboy man, I'm not sure if he's a bad guy. Nelson's. Nelson's going to send a ray of frost at the demon. <sighs> Popping up on your feet. Staring back at this demon that you have seen once again, because it is Tanruk the same time as he tried to kill Xanran before, you do recognize him with a 10. I will take my blood from you, free from my shackles. Yeah, um, and I figure since I'm kind of disoriented, running for a cantrip makes a lot of sense. Those spells are at the forefront of Nelson's mind. They're easy to grab and react to. Um, so we'll fire it off. Ooh. I hope, I hope it hits. <clears throat> I don't know. If but... that doesn't hit, we are in trouble. 20 <laughs> We're in danger. Yes, it hits. <laughs> I'm in danger. Excellent. <laughs> Eight points of cold damage. Yeah. And I believe this does limit their movement. Yes, it does. 10 uh, feet off the movement. That is correct, yes. We'll double check, make sure that this bad boy can be hit by cold damage. Yes, it can. Or if he takes double, you mean? <laughs> always, always checking. <laughs> yes. Gotta try. Spins around and looks over towards you, Nelson. You defy me. I'll send you to hell. Um, and with that, I, I think that's the end of my turn. Phone call about the weather. Didn't text quick enough. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm in weather. <laughs> I'm not. It's literally 70 degrees in cave. There's a demon in front of me. <laughs> my, my God, Dad, there's a demon on the loose. <laughs> all right. Anything else for you, Nelson? I think that's all I can do, right? Um, Yeah, I think I'm good. Biddy. You mean perception? Perception check. 17. 17. You get the whole scene around you. You can see that the plan has gone poorly. You can see a very, very lifeless Jacob with a 17. You do not know whether he is unconscious or whether he is dead currently. You can see that there are multiple individuals that are not 
the fellows that you drank with the night before. You can see the massive giant looming in the distance. What is your background again, Biddy? More city or wilderness? Uh, man. I would assume wilderness. All right. You don't know who these people are, but they certainly look like trouble. Okay. Um, would Biddy be able to alert her friends about Jacob? Remember, you don't know the state of him. You don't know whether he is- No, 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 but that he's there. Yeah. You know, since there's a lot to take in. Yeah, you can definitely, you can definitely alert everyone else. All right, she's gonna um, be, be looking around at everything and she's like, oh, oh, what's happening here? Jacob! And then she's gonna point to her friend. Oh, oh, oh. What, who are you? She's gonna ask this guy. I'm the man that you don't want to see, love. As he reloads his crossbow. <sighs> She's going to manifest her echo. I get up first, so 15 feet of her action. Her. Bonus action, echo. Doo -doo. She's going to manifest it over. Ooh. Where would you like that uh, echo? Behind him. And I'm the one that you don't want to see twice. Go. And do I still get my bonus action as fighter? Or not because I spawned my echo? Let me double check. Mm-hmm. I'm Sam. Holy shit. <laughs> bonus actions. Manifest echo. You can use mm -hmm. your bonus action to manically manifest the echo in the unoccupied space. Um, Yep, that will be that will t consume your bonus action this time since you guys spilled out. Normally, it's something that I allow you to have like, oh, okay, I let you your echo come out right at the same time. But since we got mm -hmm. spilled out of the locket and it being a very surprising thing, uh, it will consume your bonus action. Okay, if that's the case. You can still attack through it, but yeah, I want to do that through my echo <laughs> eyes go back through to the other echo and she's going to 26 26 will hit for 16 16 points of slashing damage And then I would actually like to action search as well. Uh, you still have your your second sword swing. Oh, oh, I, I still get that. Pretty sure when you when you attack, you swing because you're a fighter. You swing twice right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, but it didn't take any of that away with the. I mean, I'll take it if you'll give it to me. You can attack twice whenever you take the attack action on your turn. Yep. Cool. All right, she's gonna try it again. Mm, 20? 20. That'll hit. Okay. Uh, for eight. Another eight points of damage. And then okay. I'm going to action surge. <laughs> okay. So now you're action surging on this. All right. Yeah. 
so you transfer whenever you you transfer your eyes over whenever you make the uh, the attack action if you finish your two attacks here your eyes are still inside your echo it takes Who your are they? it takes your bonus action to transfer it back and forth oh you're right then i'm gonna save it then so i'll just i'll pause there okay and that'll end my turn all right what i will do is i'm gonna mark your echo with this little eyeball right here so we know that your eyes are currently here inside the echo okay echoes a uh, ac is still 18 and it disappears <laughs> if it's hit because it's got one one mm -hmm. hp ah, ah. His victor spins around after he's attacked from behind. What the fuck? Xanren, your perception check. You see everything is well. You understand that Jacob is down. You hit a you hit a high number, right? 28. 28. You are 28. <clears throat> As you sit up, you can tell Jacob is not breathing. Can I see uh, if uh, it was a crossbow bolt that killed Jacob? Can I see that that's what's gone through his heart and whatnot? Or I, I don't know. Oh, he's a pin. Heart. He's a human pin cushion. Yeah. It was actually the fall that uh, that did it. <laughs> the, the fall was the last, <laughs> the last piece. But yeah, he looks he looks rough. There's the arrows are a little crispy from his uh, <laughs> igniting himself. Man. Um. I'm gonna presume I can. I notice that uh, this fellow here has a crossbow uh, that he's just reloaded um, before attacking. Uh, uh, with you being a city owl, I want yes. you to roll a. Uh, now with your tw your perception, uh, I'm gonna give this one to you because of your background. <laughs> you realize you were 100% dealing with the underworld. That you have been brought over here on a merchant ship and you've essentially been caught smuggling and you know whether or not you were familiar with the guild inside Baldur's gate you know that's the issue that you've run into here right by the sheer amount of force and the way that they're dressed equipped are we the bad guys Hunt. Yes. Yes. No. Every encounter we're the bad guys. We're illegal. <laughs> We've been the bad guys since we climbed down from that hand. <laughs> we just surrender and go to jail. <laughs> I mean, there is absolutely a way out of this, though, I think. Um, uh, mm, but nah, in character, I wouldn't know to do that. And yeah, that's not a thing. So, goddamn. Mm, man. That hill giant's uh, the most attack on Titan looking thing over the <laughs> Yeah. It really is. <laughs> like just because of the background color, it's like all it looks as though it's all shoulders. You know? Giant sack of tapioca pudding. Like the blob X-Men. <laughs> totally. Uh I think acknowledging that there are many elements to the situation that could potentially be diplomatically worked out, um, but also understanding that there is a there is a demon right in front of us, and that previously I've had very bad experiences of having nearly been murdered by this demon. I'm going to call that priority. You, I have unfinished business with you, Alvin. You will not best me again. Oh. Real tired of seeing that face. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna make some attacks. Uh, hmm. Uh, 15 feet of movement to get up from being prone. Right? Yes. Correct. Uh, and, and can I fly straight up in the air 15 feet without triggering an attack of opportunity or? 15 feet will trigger, <laughs> 10 feet will not. Okay. Uh, let's see about going 10 feet up then. Slow blade penetrates the shield. 
<laughs> I don't feel like fighting today, Gurney. Unless I'm fighting this piece of shit. By the way, make sure everybody's tracking their cards because they're going ham right now. Oh, okay. Ooh, wait. Thank you for the one D10. Uh, roll damage on that, I presume. Uh, yep. So that's 33 with the first one. All uh, right. You are short sorting the demon, correct? Right. Uh, yes, I should technically have hit Psychic Blades there, but it's literally the exact same thing. The difference is that it's physical damage instead of Psychic damage on this yep, one. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I was getting the right character. 10 points of piercing damage, and you do have adjacent targets, so 23 points on the sneak attack. Total of 33. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll a bonus attack with <sighs> a Blade. Uh, I presume that hits at 23. Maybe I, maybe it doesn't. 23 hits. Okay. Uh, needless to say, don't worry about the sneak attack on this one. Uh, so that's just seven points of psychic damage. <clears throat> Blood trickling down from that strike next to him. <laughs> Anything else for your turn, Xanarin? Uh, I'm going to shout out to Brom and uh, make as clear an indication as possible uh, that uh, Jacob is in trouble or is probably very much dead, but that maybe there is something that a cleric might do about it. I don't know. I'm going to go and... Uh, yeah. Yell at Brom! Brom! Brom, he's down. Find a... I... Save him! Something! Anything! The fuck, I just released a goddamn demon out here! Ugh. There's nothing but bad news! All I'm gonna do is just stare very intently back at him with the very owly stare, with the very authoritative owly eyebrows, and be like, Really? You're picking this time now to, to judge whether a friend has summoned a demon? <laughs> He doesn't control it if he's dead! <laughs> he literally recreated- <laughs> Roll an intimidation check. Oh gosh, okay, hands up. Twelve. Noted. Very tempted to add a- Very tempted to add a d8 to that. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> oh, God. Do it. Can Biddy uh, yell at Do Brom? It. Do it. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. We're adding, we're adding okay, a she's going to, hearing this conversation, she's going to yell back at him. And she'll be like, oh Brom, if you raise him back up, maybe he can take care of the demon. By all powers combined. 20. <laughs> Noted. Captain. <sighs> Maybe if he comes back, he ends up trying to finish us all off. Well, we won't know unless we try. <sighs> Bugger. Anything else for your turn, Xandrin? Uh, nope. I'm gonna call it there and end time. Oh, let the cluster fuck begin. Here we go. <laughs> Run up the steps. Who's on first? What the fuck is going on up here? What the fuck is going on in this shit? Where did you come from? Remember, rolling perception check. <laughs> oh, they do not Great. see that Leo is actually bound on the deck. He is out of the initiative order, but he is in manacles from these guild members. He's just gonna argue. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm not trying to smuggle demons around here. He's going to roll a persuasion check. Disadvantage. Oh, it's <sighs> not good. Yeah, that goes about as good as what you thought. All right. 
Next knucklehead up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Perception check. What do you mean? We're not trying to smuggle demons up here. <laughs> Donk. There's like, there's like oh. Larry, Mo, and Curly. Oh. <laughs> they use all their movement to get up here. They're, they're all up in Victor's grill. They still don't see Leo down. Oh, duckies. Is this literally like the, this is a pantomime of like, where is he? He's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Rom's turn. For your appeals, I will roll a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Twenty one. As I literally, I'm on my butt, I scoot over like a dog. As I take a look at Jacob's beaten body. What have you gotten us into now? You just had to make this scene look more realistic, didn't you? Well, there's only one shot at this. If you're in there. Try to get that demon not to fuck with this, all right? And I'll begin to cast Revivify. Now, Jacob, you have gone... and actually been dead how many times before? Mm, how many times in this campaign or total? <laughs> what? what question Jacob, is that? <laughs> that's his flex for the day. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 meant, I meant with this character in the campaign since we started or, or in my backstory as well. Uh, let's go from the moment that you gained a patron. This would be the third? Did I did I die in the main with the diamond I think ice? you went unconscious, but I don't think you died. I think so you've only is... died once inside this campaign. Uh, Once and then now, as with the mushrooms. Yes. So this would be number three then. <clears throat> All right. This is a 16, 18, 20 skill challenge to revive Jacob. Uh, he doesn't look good. He doesn't look good at all. All right. Let's see what you got, Walter, one more time. As I reach to bring back your mind, DC 18. Uh. No. Was it 16, 18, 20? Yeah, I thought it was 16, yeah, it was 16 18, 20. 18, 20. It's, it's right on the money. 16, 18, 20 is it. <sighs> okay. Okay. Focus, Brom. Focus. Focus. Trying to bring your body back to this material plane. DC 18. Yeah. 
I will use my 1d8 inspiration. Twenty-two. <laughs> Seeing the vitality in his body come back as flames begin to carterize over the top of him. Come on. One last time. Get this bugger back. Oh. Oh. Oh no. I will use my last piece, which is a lucky on a reroll. Cannot use an inspiration. I've already used it with a D8. This is it. Cannot be brought back by resurrection spells. Ugh. Focus! Focus! Final roll. DC 20. As the body looks like it's about to begin to come back to life. No. No, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh. Keep concentration, Brom. Keep the concentration. You got this. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And at that moment, Panarook and his great sword <laughs> cuts a swath in the connection between my hands and the ones focused and magic on Jacob as it cuts like a knife through butter, a string through the ley line of magic. I'm not going back home. And he stays dead. <laughs> As you see a long ethereal chain <laughs> extend from his hand in a collar <laughs> as he pulls and you can see Jacob's soul <laughs> tug from his body. <laughs> He's mine now. My little pet. As Brom looks back stunned, he's just going to backpedal and stand to his feet. Not knowing what to do. I, I, I tried. I tried. End of Brom's turn. Guild member to the north. Wisdom saving throw. Didn't mean to do that with two. I will flip a coin. Heads is 13, tails is 18. 13. It's going to go for Tanarook as well, seeing that that was the last demon that rose up, even though bodies have just spilled out in a mess everywhere. That's where they're going to shoot. All right. Crossbow shot at Tanarook. This will be at advantage. Twenty three will hit. 
does not need to make the constitution saving throw because Tanarook is immune to poison. Sneak attack damage. A total of 28 points of damage. Guild member is going to hold their position. Toph, it is your turn. Seeing this connection severed, almost instinctively, he reaches for his mother's skull and slides it over his face yet again. I've had to do this before and I'll do it again. And he'll raise his great sword up as that just crimson coat of color flushes through his fur, raising up as a beacon through his great sword. Kill the demon! He'll yell as a rallying cry to everyone, seeing, of course, not only his companions focus on the demon, but also these archers of sorts as well, hoping that that will keep the focus there. As an initial bonus action, I am going to use my channel divinity, a vow of enmity, to gain advantage on this creature for one minute. Or Let's hopefully go. before it dies. <laughs> <laughs> you don't scare me this time around. <laughs> Does an 18 hit? 18 just hits. Sweet. All right, let's roll damages. 12 points of damage on that for that first hit. And let's throw on our thing that paladins do. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> Smites coming in. An additional six. Additional six points of radiant. As it seems to be very effective. Gosh, yes. It does a total of 12 instead. Oh, okay. I oh, net 20! Let's go! Yes. Oh, yeah. Please tell me I have a brutal critical. I have a brutal critical! Let's yeah. go! <laughs> Thank you, chat. <laughs> Going in with that first hit, it strikes. And as his great sword soaks in that blood of the demon, that counterbalance of that radiance versus demonic blood charges his sword. Almost as he brings it down again, drags the weight of it even heavier, cutting through him. <sighs> All right. And throw on that smite as well separate. And remember that is an additional 24 points plus the seven. Okay. So 31 points on the smite damage. Ooh. Sweet chicken nuggets. It's not okay. doubled as well, so I'm extra. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, and then, then it's on top of that. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Off. <laughs> DTD. What? Already? <laughs> yes! Oh, yeah. What the as hell? he slices through and that blood is a fountain going everywhere, it almost glows in this moonlight, shining as it spills across his fuzzy fur. <laughs> Heaving with his sword now on the uh, ground and this demon down, uh, he huffs and looks at uh, those who opposes his party, eyeing them. Uh, Second swing spinning around, breaking that ethereal chain, holding Jacob's soul. Oh. As it flies, you see it back into his body. While this happens, Jacob, 
constitution saving throw. 13. You of all people, Jacob, should know you are mine. And you have unfinished business. You will fulfill our agreements. Whether you leave this material plane looking alive or dead. Rice. And don't make a fool out of me again. There are to be no others inside my lamp. Do you hear me, Jacob? No more excuses. Death will not relieve you from all agreements. Not today. Not ever. Rise, my pathetic champion. Live another day. As Jacob, your eyes flare up. One HP revived by your patron. <clears throat> Go fuck yourself. What are you gonna do? Kill me. Jacob? He's gonna turn to he's a, Jacob will turn to Biddy. Your turn. I didn't mean quite literally you had to catch up. She's gonna can she like lend down and help him up? Or not yet. Uh, you can use uh, your reaction to help him up. Okay, yeah, she'll she'll reach down and help you up. Uh, watch the arrow holes. <laughs> yeah, you don't look good. Jacob, describe one more part of your body that is absolutely dark man style brutalized now that is permanent. Um, ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> and you can you can you can dwell on it for a little bit. That's a tough that one. Um. I think uh, I think uh, I would say that his uh, his eye that was orange it was kind of already messed up is now just a pitch black eye, just complete void of a of an eye. Kind of hard to make yourself more fucked up when your face is already <laughs> half missing. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Hey, Dark Man, they m made it to four. Okay, <laughs> he wasn't looking so good by the end. <laughs> You start running out of limbs at that point. It's like, uh... He's lost his but head in the other campaign. Lovely. He's got a metal arm. This is just, yeah. this is the Mudcat way. Just go through the James Bond bad guy list of things that you could have. <laughs> I, can I make a suggestion? Sure. Maybe because she said that you were the only one of the lamp, maybe you take on some metallic features from it to bond you closer to it. Maybe it's just melted into my chest now. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Man style. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's the one. Yeah. It's literally fused, in my, fused in my body. Yeah. Fuck. Oh my God. All right, Jacob, you're on your feet. Dope. Go ahead and uh, re roll that initiative. A fitting. Your turn, my dude. You're right. <laughs> oh shit. Dang. <laughs> uh, you need a cup of coffee to get going. <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, uh, hold on, Dolph. Uh, you may not have finished your turn yet. F I, I'm good. I'm not gonna move anywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna stand with like the heaving shoulders, with that intimidating look, like eyeing everyone else down, and call it a turn. Toffs crits, yo. Toffs crits. Looking through the skull of his mother. <laughs> Um, I summon a tanner No, I'm just kidding. Oh my <laughs> God. I, will murder you. 
I don't know. It'd be pretty yeah, hilarious that you put him immediately rest. back on the leash. Uh, um, no, I'm very in character. I'm not gonna do that. Um, oh man, I'm gonna you oh, fuck my yeah. life. What are, 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 are these dudes on the deck here? Yes. Okay, because I'm just gonna look around. You know, a, a little upset about uh, these uh, these new people kind of getting involved in this shit so i'm just gonna kind of turn over this largest group and i'm gonna cast it back here but i'm gonna fireball them all four of these oh my god we're, we're... does does that hit leo 100 percent. which one oh, leo <laughs> the one who's not in the initiative role oh well at this, at this point that, that whole crew attacked me so i'm not i'm not really too concerned about it personally oh, Oh. Dex save a 22. <laughs> I... Oh, Leo is not making that. Are you, are you prepared for the repercussions? I literally got killed by this guy and his crew, and then I just came back from the I, dead. I don't I'm, know what's going on. I'm just letting you know that it is it is a major party decision, uh, you know, case by case at that point. I mean, that, which one's Leo? Leo's uh, Leo's on the Leo's on the ground here. Like he's not marked. He's 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 right here. Okay. Where that where that pointer is at. The full death and destruction of the ship and them will definitely cause a divide within the party's own morality. So I'm just making sure that you are that you are prepared that that may cause a fissure and a full split of the party. I, just, I, I mean, I would like to say no, but I just like. It's, it's, I guess it's, this is the challenge of where what, else what your do character's I do? motivation is versus how you want to play the player for it's strategy. Not... We're family. Don't forget. I really just want to kill this fucker that tried to, you know, and his goonies that tried to. Well, that did kill me. Maybe don't AOE the entire boat then. I'm sorry, I thought the fall killed you, sir. The fall did kill me, but they helped. <laughs> yeah, just letting you know in the in the grand scheme of things, inside the city, the fireball, nuking the merchant ship, the guild that's already alerted here that's looking for smuggling back and forth, it is a dire consequence on multiple levels. Just because I'm attacking guild members or because I'm blowing up a ship? Attacking guild members, blowing up the ship, and also uh, yeah, crossing in between inner party morality and what their motivations are. So I'm showing it is a complete and utter chaos move that can shatter everything. Just le I'm laying it all out there, the potential of what me, that fireball can do. Let me ask you this. These guys attacked me. The Tannerook's gone. Are they still looking to attack us? That's the unfortunate part. You just don't know because it's all happened so quick. Can we pull an Assassin's Creed and just hide in a bale of hay for like a few minutes? Unfortunately, <laughs> you hid inside of a locket that exploded. Yeah, fine. Like Metal Gear Solid behind barrels. <clears throat> yes, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not yeah, telling you not on. to fireball. I, it's my job to let you know the <laughs> the the consequences and the hey, Ma, gravity. I'm telling you not to fireball. No, oh, if he does, please. I'm don't. I'm just like, I just woke up from being killed by these people, and am I supposed to now discern that they're not going to attack me? Like, that's a fucking weird situation to be in. Talk to him. You could RP it. Why the yeah. fuck would I go? Just talk. You got half a mouth. I think instead I'll summon oh. a shadow spawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, that, I think instead I will summon a shadow spawn and... Uh, because I'm only one HP, I think I will summon the shadow spawn to kind of, uh, as just black smoke kind of fills around me and just hovers over my body, um, a shadow uh, spawn in the in the form of like a smoke monster will just kind of uh, float above me. Um, oh, question: Did you take meta magic mm -hmm. as a as a feat? I did not. Okay. You fool. 
do not have meta magic. Um, <laughs> you're 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 a man that could use some meta magic. <laughs> I just, yep, I probably could. I took uh, I took tough, you know, didn't uh, it's for all the good that did. Uh, oh, it almost got you out. <laughs> okay, for so everyone doesn't know, meta magic you can careful a spell and direct the fireball to attack people and things yeah. that you want that you don't set the entire world on fire. Gil or uh, nuance. Yeah, I don't have careful spell. Um, I will summon that shadow spawn, and it will be a. Um, it will. Okay, so any uh, any other creature other than me that starts his turn within five feet of the spirit has speed reduced by twenty feet until the start of that creature's turn. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it for a minute. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to use it as a as kind of a protective barrier. So I guess holding its action to protect me. Right. Are like all of your spells just like giant volcanic explosions? Some of them. Of some of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's very on brand. Actually, you know, you, gotta survive alone. you know, you know what I will do? I I will. I won't have it attack, but instead I'll I'll use its its feet to use its dreadful scream, which I can use once a, it can use once a day. Um. So creatures within thirty feet of it must save a wisdom save. Uh, or be frightened of the spirit oh, ooh. for a minute. Does this impact friendlies? Oh God, I really need to set how well, I'm going to rule. We... How I'm going to rule frighten. Um, yeah, are we creatures? Some of us have very some notable us, ears. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> uh, like, well, no. When he when he does uh, this, it will tar. It only targets the uh, the baddie. It only targets the baddies. But the problem is I haven't rewritten how I want to handle uh, Frighten all the way. Uh, it says that uh, it says that the, they can repeat the saving throughout the end of each of their turn and it ends the effect if it's a success. Um, so there's that. OK, so I'm going to make the I'm going to make the ruling on the field the same way that it happened to you guys to where I don't completely take away a full turn. It's going to make them choose between their action or their bonus action. Because okay. that's that's what I'm what I'm doing is I'm redefining anything in 5e that fully takes away your turn, making something where you can make a roll and you still get something for your turn and not completely removing it. So this is more of it's more like a slow effect essentially that you get off of it. The way the way we play it in a LARP I'm in is we play it as it forces your movement away. You can still do all your actions, but you can't move towards the source of the. Yes, and you, and you have that. My deal yeah. is, uh, I just like their. I like the player to choose whether they're frightened for something, rather than just a random. Like I want them to have the agency of like, am I really scared of this or not? That's my that's my big right. deal. So, uh, I'm not gonna do. Uh, I'm not gonna do the movement just yet. I'm just gonna remove one of those pieces away from them, and uh. And they, they they cannot attack you or the spirit that's that's guarding oh. you. They've got to make a save to see if that. Yes, yeah, so and a save it. save over the top of it. So I'm going to do it to where they can't make attacks against you, like a sanctuary spell, and they lose uh, their 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 action or their bonus action. Okay. All I'll right. Also do, since I have one HP, I'll use this as kind of a protective barrier. Yeah, as the spirit comes out and just lets loose this screech through the air <laughs> really uh <laughs> really drilling that demonic presence home uh can you go ahead and let's see here what is the dc it should be 22 okay 22 i'm gonna try and get myself an easy button here because otherwise i have to go in each of these individual character sheets let me yeah. uh let me add this on my extras It probably won't do it from there, but I'm gonna make a. Won't. I'm gonna make happen? one, and you said DC. What? It should be twenty-two. Twenty-two? <laughs> no, 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 no. My no. other saves are. Uh, if it's okay, I will be right back. I just gotta go slowly. Fuck. 
my god could, your save dc it, is a 22. it I could potentially be a 17. my word of radiance is a 17 but that's that one's i don't think i'm i don't think that adds my oh my god how did we get to it what magic item has gotten you up to 22. i don't know you gave me a couple of things in the <laughs> you know the diamond eyes the rods i think you holy, gave me two different rods holy two rods. shit he did. He gave me two runs. Well, yeah, you know, it wasn't a long-term campaign, you know? <laughs> you, you we didn't have to think away, of the again. consequences when it was only going to be three episodes. Who cares? No. Well, we can take one off if you want. I don't well, care. Hey, <laughs> we'll play it out. I'll look at that shit later. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to create that DC save here of 22. <laughs> this is more of a boss fight on this. Good fucking God. And uh, what, what kind is it? Wisdom? Wisdom, yeah. All right. And uh, what's it called? Sonic what? Uh, dreadful Scream. Dreadful Scream. All right. Dreadful Scream goes out. Oh, boy. Here we go. Starting with guild member up at the top. Is me? Oh, no, no, no. Just the guild leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said the top and I went, whoo? I mean, you can roll wisdom to see if you want to be susceptible to it. <laughs> Thank you for the offer. <laughs> Nat 20 on Victor. Ooh. Fancy Good hat, man. Cause he, it's because he's wearing a top hat. Yeah. That protects like your ears. Everyone knows that. Like a tinfoil hat. Looks mm -hmm. like a Robin Hood hat. Maybe he is Robin Hood. Oh, shit. Kind of like an <laughs> arrow WB version of Robin. It's very particular. I don't know. Look at him. He's like a, like a weird <laughs> gruff. Look it's like a grim dark Robin Hood, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone <laughs> except <WB>. for <laughs> Victor is now frightened from that scream. Yeah, so that shadow spot is just a, it's just a call of a smoke that just flows from me. And... <laughs> the icon is fantastic. He's wearing a scream mask. <laughs> nice. The uh, the shadow spawn just summons above me, and its eyes are and mouth are just all like red with flames as it's just billowing smoke everywhere, like diesel burning. I'm pretty sure I've seen that face in Elden Ring. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much an Elden Ring boss. <laughs> pretty much. That's my whole aesthetic in this campaign. <laughs> just a Pinterest board of Elden Ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm scared for this guy's turn. Anything else for your turn, Nelson? Or, I'm sorry, Jacob. Um, do I have... No, I don't have any health potions or anything. I don't think so. That's it. Guild member after that deafening scream cannot target you. They pull their crossbow up. Boss, what the fuck is that? You think if I had a fucking clue, it'd still be alive? Shoot it! I don't want to. Well, I don't want to shoot it. Fucking shoot it! This guild member is going to spin over and attack the Echo that's attacked Victor. Short sword advantage. You only needed one. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes transfer back over into your body, Biddy. What the fuck? They're going to take their bonus. Oh, no, they don't. That's it. End of their turn. Since we could 
RP you said out of turn. Can we just say like, it's haunted, get out of here. You can use your reaction to roll an intimidation check. I would love to do that. Oh my God, here we go, it's time. <laughs> We've been building the story up to some of the others. Maybe the other two were like, no, yeah, we saw the scene downstairs. Go ahead and roll uh, with advantage. <laughs> okay. Because of the scream. I mean, Moon. spooky, scary shit has been going down. Yeah. After all, Moon's Demon haunted. popped up. We got a ghost going on. Oh! <laughs> roll very high at all. Uh, uh, do I have, I wanted this to work. I don't have a lucky. <laughs> Uh, in, mm, no, a D6 isn't going to be enough to change the tides on this. All right, that's what it is. I was, Can I give you a lucky? Um, mm -hmm. Do you want to just tag yeah. along in this persuasion? I'll let you roll it. Sure. Go for it. I believe in you. Uh, uh, Biddy does not have a reaction. Use it to pick up. Yeah. Uh, but oh. Biddy can send you a lucky card. Okay. Lucky's the only thing no. that doesn't consume anything. It's a it's a free action to use it or to send it to someone that's in your party. It's the ultimate okay, card. Yeah. I will give one to Tolf. Thank you. Oh. oh, balls. Oh, okay. no. It well. was always supposed to be this way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Victor looks down I at the well. screaming rabbit on the other side. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's also a good reaction. <laughs> Aren't you like covered in crimson? Oh yeah. yeah. You're Just horrifying. Got <laughs> yeah, like bunny teeth. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> the most metal rabbit you've ever seen. <laughs> Victor's turn. Well. Victor's gonna take his 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 shot. 100%. I don't sound so pleased about it. <laughs> this DM took away Thomas's wing and is now cackling as Victor is about to attack us. Menace to Victor's society. Gonna hurt. <clears throat> oh, duck, duck. Caustic duck. Yeah. Him! I don't know where you came from, demon. But I'm gonna send you back to wherever that was. As Victor begins to cast a spell. Uh, who was he talking to? He's talking to He's Jacob. Afraid. Okay. <clears throat> Quick question, Robert. Um, considering that these are thieves guild types, I'm gonna presume they understand the thieves can't. Thieves can't be any kind of symbolism wrote or hidden writing. It can be interpreted into a lot of ways. Uh, you said hidden writing. I presume it's 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 no different from. Uh, it, it, it's not like a series of words or something you can say vocally, is it? No, I'm definitely open to code words, sayings. The ice is, <clears throat> the sun is shining, but the ice is still slippery. Mm -hmm. um, in that case, I'd love to go ahead and can I use a reaction to try and uh, uh, basically convince Victor here uh, that we are in fact not a threat by using the the thieves cant and basically saying, "Hey, you know, fellow guild members, this is not this the, the demon we just killed was the real threat here. Everyone is just disoriented." Okay. Got words to that effect, basically. <clears throat> you give me your RP. And I'll let you know how much you can add to this roll. Now, hmm. oh. just want to let you know that technically, if you are not a guild member, 
If you reference that you are in the guild, you're in a form of deception. If you want to convey that you are at least of the underworld, but not trying to convince that you were part of the guild, that is a straight up persuasion to someone else who works in black markets. Just know that those are two different appeals and will be two different roles. Let me double check and check whether I am actually. Uh, it's your character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is because mm -hmm. I know I have. The it's all about what you, what you built. It's your story. Oh uh, gosh. Yeah. So association with people who would know individuals in the guild and definitely has like done brushed shoulders with them in the past, but not a guild member, I don't think. Okay. So this is probably a persuasion as opposed make to an a deception. Make an appeal in <laughs> Thieves' Cant that you are also of their persuasion. Hey, hold there. Fellow man on the street, remember, when we walk together, everyone else looks the other way. Most importantly of all in moments like this when there's been a grand misunderstanding. That thing that we just killed? That's been the thing that's been the real problem. This? He's confused. He just died. He's just been brought back. He's defending himself. And I'm pretty sure that he didn't have anything to do with this in the first place. So we'll just put down our weapons here and we can talk this out like gentlemen. And maybe come to an agreement and find some common ground and understanding that benefits both parties. All right. I'm going to give you advantage on your persuasion with a 1d6 guidance die. For your RP. Okay. Uh, right. How do I add the 1d6 to that? Oh, Just roll it separate. Okay, right. Oh, man, 20! Let's go! What? <laughs> of all Ooh. times, this is the best. Oh. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Diplomacy. The only thing that can make this spiral out. Victor's going to make a wisdom saving throw. If it is a nat one, there will be a roll off, a flat d20. Anything above that, your appeal is going to be a success. As he holds his hand up, ready to snap and cast word of radiance toward Jacob's body, which a failure will incinerate his body in radiant light. What about my shadow spawns held action? Has it triggered yet? Okay. Because of vice. Okay. Here's the roll. Twelve. As he'll hold his snap. And look across over at you, Xanrin. Who the fuck are you? And combat will pause. You are currently out of combat at the moment, refresh your beverages. You will come back in RP. Ooh. Clutch Dude. disarmament, baby. Dang. Fuck. <laughs> Let's go. And that advantage too. Oh my God. Ooh, it's a save. Yes, we'll temporarily be suspending combat to go into RP. Westwolf. I'm soulless here ever. 
<laughs> oh fuck yeah no we've got to deal with the repercussions of that nonsense oh, <laughs> also i might momentarily leave ping because for whatever reason my camera has gone very dreamy uh and yeah it's gone out of focus on you yeah no i'm not quite sure what's going on so i'm gonna drop from ping real quick and then jump back in no worries Ooh. Well, this has been a roller coaster. I know. <laughs> I don't hit nat twenties often, but boy oh boy, when I do, Ooh. they impactful. I feel yeah. like we're very strong in persuasion and performance this campaign so far. <laughs> you use uh, you're remembering to use them. A lot of people forget yeah. and just expect the worst. There's no reason not. To try right. to make an appeal when you can. Right. There's a lot of times when you, it's not going to work out. I also like someone in chat uh, posted the thieves can't as pig Latin. <laughs> <It was amazing>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. good. Yeah, I'm still trying to fix this thing on ping with regards. Oh, no, it's focusing out. There we go. Okay, we're back. There we are. Okay, now I will go ahead and refresh beverages and things. Um. Yeah. Whoa! Okay, I will be right back. Get it. Oh, look at that kitty. Look at that kitty. Y'all hit that goal, you got plus one on rolls right now. Let's go ahead and reset that stream loot's goal, shall we? Plus one on kitty. Hmm. I figured get some kitty cat content in while she was being super affectionate. <laughs> Always. <Yeah. laughs> oh my fucking god, glam. They are fantastic. Oh my god, now Glam is gone. <laughs> I was so excited about Kitty, and now the Kitty is gone. <laughs> oh my god, I saw your... <laughs> I oh, saw the your post. The catnip. <laughs> um, here comes the flop. Here comes... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cat casting is very much a weird thing. But no, when you when when you know your animals well enough, you you very much know what's going to happen next. And <laughs> Lily is just, oh yep, I've exerted a degree of energy in doing this. <laughs> I fought with this this my toy that is covered in catnip, and now it is time to roll over. <laughs> and that is simply as, as it goes. Woo. All right. Can erase some of these notes. I have like my permanent notes, which are on that Excel sheet, and then I've got my temporary notes of like, okay, 20 hits, 18 mm -hmm. hits. And I write down what I want to do because by the time it gets to my turn, sometimes I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Once I've planned things out. Think, say a prayer for what's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
No. <laughs> You're just screwed. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky that Foundry is so much more robust than... I mean, these are things they could never do in Roll20. Not a chance. Yeah. yeah. I would have no... I'd be lost, so lost in the sauce. Where do I find this? I have no idea. <laughs> you just can't. <laughs> Hi. Well, hello there. <laughs> what are y'all doing Greetings, here? traveler. Oh, you know, just uh, fending off people who are actually good because we're bad. <laughs> yeah. These are, let me just reassure you that if they are guild members, they are in no way good. They might oh, be they're less. they're not good. They <laughs> might be less bad than <laughs> us comparatively, <laughs> but they're, don't worry. Don't, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> actually, these are our peers. Uh, yeah, that we've come to maybe the okay. same. This is a convention, <laughs> as Zanrin has proven. <laughs> so wait, are there equal amounts of them as there are us? Uh, one, Ooh, two, square up yeah, like there are. Cobra Kai. Uh, so I feel like the is giant this... and Jacob would definitely be like equal. Is this? You spawn a Tanrak. I've got one HP. Yeah. Is this like a pair off and have a dance off kind of situation? Yeah. I don't know who this guy is yet, but I feel like Toph could square up. Here we go. I'm With your bodyguard. One. The two that are high up would definitely be Xanarin and our uh, little Nelson. This one's mine. Burps. Well, we both oh, got big no. mouths. Birds gonna burp. We, we both have pig mouths. Is that like Burps. this? Bull for it? Birds. Burps. But like in a tough and less rhythmic way. Yeah, of course. Wait, oh my god, did we do that in sync? Super cool. <laughs> did we do that in sync? <laughs> what the fuck? That's gonna is be that our secret head cons, but that, is, yeah. that is officially yeah. our yeah. secret of the Meteoran Corps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's in yeah. St. Jude and we're gonna be like... If you're in here at GCX, <laughs> make sure you come up to us and... Oh my god. Oh, That's no. all I want to see. Actually, will we know? I'll probably feel threatened and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet. This happened half like back in episode 11. Don't you remember? Yeah, half hearts. Half hearts. <laughs> half hearts for Kevin. For Kevin. Burr. Burr. <laughs> Where's Thomas at? Is Thomas going to move? Thomas is still in my bag. I. <laughs> Thomas was going to leave the bag at a certain time, but I didn't know if it was appropriate. <laughs> Was it while he was being rezzed? Yeah, I didn't know if I was allowed to do a reaction or not. So, I was like, I like was I know that you're dead and everything, but can I bring Thomas out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Katui. Yeah. Is he still yeah, yeah. our little nightlight? Like, is he gonna glow in this wonderful <laughs> yes, moonlight that evening? Was exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> the light cantrip, I think, isn't that many hours. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine him like one of those glow sticks. Like if you shake him enough, he'll light up, sort of thing, and that's what triggers it. Like he's got his own spell capabilities at this point. <laughs> I'm just I'm imagining Thomas with the whole oh, like gobble he... gobble 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 thing, except they're shaking it. So it's... <laughs> I think you're right. I think he's been glowing this entire time. The light, <laughs> oh, the spell ends if you cast it again or dismiss it as an action. See? And neither of those things have happened. Our permanent See? light bulb. Mm -hmm. The guiding light of the entire group. I see nothing wrong with this. Mm -hmm. He's I mean, our when, yeah. their leader. Yeah. When when so close to Thomas's blinding light, I see nothing either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I look. Well, I have blind fighting. So I can see. Everyone. There we go. <laughs> That's actually a good Wait. combo move. Have have Thomas blind everyone, and then Biddy, who can do blind fighting, will go around and just stab everyone. It's perfect. Glam, you need to bring a turkey to your LARP group. Dang! To be like, I know you don't get it, but he needs to be here with me. I don't know. <laughs> you Part of me was thinking about cosplaying as Nelson. He has to be there. He should. And then, but then part, but then I started playing Elden Ring, and now I just want to cosplay as like the guy that's in charge of the big fight. I don't know if anybody's been to fight for Dawn yet, but there's a NPC who's kind of like jesterish, but somehow cool, tough jesterish. 
Sure. I kind of want to really cosplay as that guy. <laughs> just do it all. Don't make choices. Just do all of them. He's like a mix between Rob Zombie and a Je you know what? It's like a Dark Souls game. So you get the <laughs> aesthetic it has, right? Yes. Yes. I respect that. Mm -hmm. I just need to see you do it. Just make it happen, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You've put that out there in the universe, and so we're all going to be waiting for this. Do all the things, Adam. He's not wrong. <laughs> I feel like cosplaying would be easier if you were good at sewing. <laughs> I'm not. Mm. <laughs> Severely limits what I can dream of doing. <laughs> They're so empowering. I um, I never learned how to sew, but recently, uh, most recklessly, Nicole taught me how to use a sewing machine, like in the past year or so. And I started sewing like metal band patches on like my vest and like I started feeling like so empowered. I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, now the sewing you can machine do... is really cool. Yeah. Now you have so much yeah. more control over your wardrobe. Like yeah, you can yeah, picture yeah. it and make it happen. Yeah. It's like on there. <laughs> and it looks like I bought it on there, but I did it. <laughs> it's really cool. You are a talent. Ooh. That sounded sarcastic. It was not. It was genuine. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. Sometimes my tone is hard to read. <laughs> it's funny, and I appreciate it both ways. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So talented. Ooh. <laughs> Glam and his sewing skills. <laughs> just saying, everybody should check out a sewing machine if there's one in your proximity Ooh. or uh, lifestyle. I don't know. Uh, in your proximity. Are you yeah. saying check out? Like, like you try another quarter like... of the street. <laughs> Check one yeah. out from your library. Yeah, try it. It's fun and it's cool. And you're like, oh, this is surprisingly accessible and extremely useful. I would, but I know better than to mess with anything that um, my wife uses for her work, which is, yeah, no. <laughs> you have things. You, you should have probably find your own right there. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. I, I, I would, I would, I'm, I'd love to learn, but at the same time, I know that both of us are very busy. And also, there is the entire possibility that with my complete lack of dexterity in my fingers, I'd just be awful at like you could, everything. You could, y'all could trade jobs one week. Oh God! Where you do her <laughs> orders and she does your videos. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. And Go you know on. what, L, if you if you watch this later, I'm so sorry, babe. But <laughs> I, I have just got to tell the truth, and honestly, you would completely agree with it too. So I'm I'm not even going to pretend that I feel bad about this. Um, I'm okay. So every week for 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 my job, uh, I write all of my scripts for videos, and like generally speaking, that works out to somewhere in the re region of ten thousand words a week. Um, Ooh. L for the last like seven, eight, however many years she's had her Etsy, uh, she she only wrote a bio like six months ago at my insistence, and that bio is like a sentence. Right, like writing is. Yeah, is, she lets her is, work is, speak for her. Exactly. She and she how? is very much like her expression of creativity is through the things that she creates, yes. uh, and the different garments that she's able to put together, and through the you know design she's able to digitize and all that patches. And mm -hmm. oh yeah, no, uh, I'm 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 the words guy. She's the actual practical create this, something gal. But this uh, sounds like the perfect like switcheroonie. I was thinking sounds, team, but <laughs> sounds like a uh, it, it's a great team. But swapping our roles is uh, is an impending disaster on both ends of things. You 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 think that she's bad at scripting? Wait until you see me fuck up one of her garments yeah. or a patch that she's <laughs> yeah. going to make. I, yeah. I I cannot be trusted around her stuff. <laughs> it's a look. I'm not saying most people's see Bife. look, but it's a look. <laughs> I'd watch it on YouTube is all I'm saying. I just ah, want to see Bife with his hands sewn to a piece of fabric. <laughs> sewn his own fingers to that. So you tried to go for a toga by um, <laughs> taking one of our bed sheets and trying to sew it together in one place. The problem <laughs> is you've not sewn it to the sheet. You've sewn it to the ironing board <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so we're going to work with that. It's going to be a bit of a hefty toga, but... If you can carry the ironing board with you, you are fine. 
Some people like oh. some structure. Yeah. Back support. I love my togas have a little oh. back support. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a little my toga. A little bus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like I said before, combat order is going to stay paused, but you guys are going to go in to straight RP. Explain yourself, Alkin. What the fuck is going on in this timber vessel? No point in telling any lies, especially considering the nonsense that's been going forth. I'm gonna go ahead and put a good foot forward and tell you everything. I'm gonna go ahead and take out one... They've only seen me use a psychic knife and a short sword, so I'm gonna take one of each and then drop them both. Uh as an indication of my intent to not be hostile. Uh, little do they know that me dropping the psychic knife is very much a meaningless gesture in that particular sense, but um, I'm going to follow up and say, light our way onto this boat, smuggled across, so we could get to some other part of Baldur's Gate, making our way through here. Yes, we smuggled. They did not know. I am counting, by the way, on the fact that everyone on the boat during the combat has stated we didn't smuggle any demons. <laughs> I'm going to rely on that fact. I'm going to go ahead and point to them and say, it's like they said, they didn't know they were smuggling a demon. That's the bit we didn't know about either. But, clearly gone. It's bothered us a few times before, but here we are. I have a share of gold waiting for me, 500 gold. It'll all be yours. But considering the recent events in Baldur's Gate, I feel like you might want to go ahead and give us a little leniency as is. You know that trouble, the run-in with the man with the diamond eyes? we put him to rest. Now, you can figure out everything that we've said. And you can go ahead and you can trust us or not. But putting best faith forward, one man of, shall we say, inventive work to the other. I'm going to put my sword on the line so that you don't have to put yours to my throat. Victor's gonna pull gold. He's gonna pull his rapier out and he's going to step forward. Still his out pointed towards you, Xanrin. So let me get this straight. You smuggled yourself on a timber boat to get in a boulder's gate. But you're saying that you killed the man with the diamond eyes. All the way across. Back in the chapel. Inside of Boulder's Gate. Is that what you're saying? I'm going to look him dead in the face. Uh, ooh, here's a good question. Do I still have the like any marking left over of the iron stone that was in my forehead, or is that or, or is that just like gone now vaguely? What did the iron stone uh, iron stone so, buff for you? Uh, it was plus two wisdom, but it was like make a wisdom my... ability check. Remember, you are still exhausted, so it will be at disadvantage. I'm. I, I'm not exhausted. You're not exhausted? He slept. Oh, okay. Yeah, I slept. I slept. My bad. Off. I'll take your exhaustion off. I just go and buy what I had on the uh, on the figure. Exhaustion? I I gone. I, I, think, I thought I would have oh. taken it off, but damn, that's good to know. Yeah, in Foundry, when you do the long rest, unless you click an extra button, it doesn't take get rid of exhaustion. Yeah, no, I thought I'd removed it as is, uh. like on top of that. That's right. Yeah, either way. Straight. Yeah. Um, straight yeah, up. Uh, wisdom, wisdom ability, ability check. Right? Okay, I gotcha. Let's see.
18. Is that your final answer? Uh, I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna point to the Iune Stone and say, yes, he left me with a little something. It's hard to forget. You're rolling to try to manifest it. Uh, yes. And you don't know what the DC is yet. Yes. <laughs> you want to like stick? It. You want to stick with 18? Uh, 18's relatively strong. I, 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 I feel somewhat comfortable with that. The DC is 18. Holy fuck. <laughs> well oh done God. on your poker match. Holy fuck. As you manifest the shimmer of the Iun stone above your forehead. Wasn't this evening getting stranger and stranger? As he's going to pull that rapier down from pointing at your chest down to his side. We got a little bit explained. How about we pick up the rest with this old demonic performance here? The fuck is going on with this? Is he looking at me? He's still looking. He's interacting with Xanarin. He's pointing okay. up to you, but he's still looking at Xanarin as his point of contact since he's the one who spoke Thieves Can't with him. I am going to send a psychic message to Jacob and say it is absolutely critical that you play along with this. In fact, I'm going to send this to the whole group. Seeing as this is very much going our way right now, I'm going to say play along we are telling the truth and telling a tiny lie here or there so that we do not end up at the point of his rapier again. <clears throat> Out loud, Toph will say, we're telling the truth? <laughs> Still doesn't know it works. Oh, fuck, I need to stop saying <laughs> Don't send Toph messages. <laughs> Oh, no, that's brilliant. Oh, God. <laughs> Victor gonna, looks I'm... down at the rabbit covered in blood in a skull. <clears throat> just, what the fuck is that? Uh, I don't know your kind name, sir, but this is Toph. One yeah. of my compatriots. I would... His mouth just opens up and a um, immediately perfectly mimics Xanarin's voice saying his psychic <clears throat> message out loud to support <gasps> Toph. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> As Victor spins around wait. to the mimicry back behind. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, all right, all right. What the? Here's what? the deal. I don't know who the fuck you are. And I'm certainly not gonna fuck with that bunny. <laughs> yeah. This whole thing is a pile of shit that I need cleaned up now. I am not missing that fucking concert. Alright. I walk these docks. Day and fucking night, and I'm not gonna be held up with this shit. I'm gonna go see fucking Solus. Now, here's the deal the two crew members. No. Whoa. <laughs> that. We, I think this is just a big understanding. You see, uh, can I cast, sir? <laughs> yes, minor illusion to make a sound because <laughs> it says at right will. I don't have to roll it or anything because it's awkward as hell. A minor illusion, yes, you can. I will allow a. And what does your minor illusion should have let me fireball him? <laughs> I, to be honest with you, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Every, what is, what is everyone saw the questions. They were like, uh, you know, hey, Fireball, well, you know, hold my beer. Wait till we get a hold of this, Jacob. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, Biddy's gonna cast Minor Illusion. Um, she doesn't like have to say or do anything, but you're if you're looking at her, you'd see that she looks in the direction of this guy. So like right here, mm -hmm. she would um, make a really loud scream come from there. Hopefully at the same time as them speaking about Solus. Ah! Oh shit, can you um, quit making that thing scream? Ah! <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know what you're keeping over there. <laughs> Evidently, you bring demons. We don't bring demons here. We just tried to get you and Solus to the concert. The scream will so, not be are enough. You okay? She's gonna grab him. I'm like, are you all right? I think you might have hit your head. Who, think, what are you talking about, Solus? I think you've gone fucking crazy. I don't know what kind of witchcraft you brung onto this boat. Trying well, to steal. You know, I'm a fighter. I don't do magics. <laughs> Whatever it was here, sir, they tried to kidnap Solus. A demon right up there. Solus isn't here. That's Solus. He said he was. Where? Leo rolls She's over in the demon. manacles. Solus. <laughs> Just was tell him the truth. I think something was cast on them. She's gonna be looking back at her friends. I, I don't know what happened, but I think that something happened to them. I'm gonna They think they're seeing Solus, they're seeing people. I'm gonna <laughs> psychically message Biddy being like, is this this is what we're doing? Okay. She's gonna message back and be like, you're not doing any better right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom gonna... saving throw for Victor. Oh, oh okay. Oh, Actually, this is not gonna be a saving throw. This is gonna be an ability check. This is an ability check for him. Ooh. 12. I'm going to flip a coin. <sighs> He's going to walk up to Xanrin. <clears throat> He's going to get right down to your ear. And he's going to begin speaking Thieves Can't. In language, the rest of you don't quite understand. Let's get this straight. I don't know what kind of bullshit you've pulled. Where you convinced the rest of this boat that you're fucking soulless. But I don't give a shit. Whatever you gotta do is your own business. The problem is, you done fucked with all business. And now you're fucking with my business, getting a Solus's show. So you promised me 500 gold pieces. I want 500 gold pieces of fucking head for this joyride. And if I don't get my money, and I don't get my money tonight, when that show's over, each one of your fucking heads are mine. You get that? What's your name? Zanrin. Zanrin. Name it. Victor. You'll meet us in Brampton when the show is over. Roughly three hours from now. And I want 500 ahead. And whatever fucking magic you cast on this timber vessel, I want it fucking off, and I don't want to hear a peep about it. Also, we're taking 30% of the load off of this fucking boat. If they got a problem with it, you get to collect. Bring me 500 ahead, 
and 30 off of this vessel. Are we fucking clear, Zanrin? How about a slight alternative? My skills are sometimes best used monetarily and sometimes best used in other ways. You know us, we work quietly. Call it a thousand straight and two favors in the future from one who for the most I don't have fucking time for favors, Zanrin, and I'll be honest, the less I hear your name, the better. Roll persuasion with disadvantage. Oh boy, okay, let's give this a shot. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, no, oh fuck, oh god. It was going so well. <laughs> I totally jinxed earlier when I talked about how good we are at persuading. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Thanks, Glam. Yeah. What's going to take care of all this bullshit is your coin in three fucking hours. That's it. And he begins to cast a spell. As he marks in a Un... How do I phrase this? The last time I said this, a non-combative hunter's mark on the party. <clears throat> I know where you are, and I'll know where to find you. So you run on me. I got no problem turning you into game. Nobody fucks with the guild, especially not now. Consider it a deal. But do remember again, those who ran the guild suffered at the hands of the man with the diamond eyes, and you don't want to know who was a rung above him. We took them out, too. You don't need to threaten us. We can be far more helpful than of hindrance given the opportunity. I'll simply leave you with that in mind. You'll have your gold, and that is all. Trust me. <clears throat> you don't want to know who runs the show now. As he takes a step back. Well, all this has been going on inside Thieves Can't of them having their private conversation. Anyone else? Okay. I was about to ask if we could hear all this. <laughs> this was all in Thieves Can't. If you know Thieves Can't, then you know the gibberish that they've been spouting back and forth. And it's a prolonged conversation. Steve and the other crew member has made it up to the top. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Victor. I was trying to see if I had any first aid equipment so that I could be assisting uh, Jacob while uh, all of this thieves canting is going on, uh, but I do not. I will use lay on hands on on him on Jacob but I'd like to perhaps turn an ear to this gibberish I hear it's not one I probably would have heard but maybe with Toph's mom would I be able to pick up like a word or two a, a common word or two Snarf snarf gonna go you know just snarf snarf gonna steer snarf It's just comforting. Okay. <laughs> I heard it, don't know what it means. <laughs> Mom used to sound exactly the same. 
snarf, she snarf, snarf. She probably just hears Solus and Xanrin, the names. <laughs> yeah. Recognizes. Snarf. Solus, Xanrin, and Snarf, Snarf. <laughs> My Thundercats radar is going off. <laughs> snarf. Snarf. It's like that. Solus Zanrin, 3,000 gold. That's all you understand. Sight <laughs> beyond sight. Victor sees his sword. Three hours. Come on, boys. We got a concert to go to. Steve looks past. So do we. Biddy's gonna mouth. Sorry. <laughs> what happened up here? As they begin to make their way out, you can hear the hill giant in the back. <laughs> Never get to play. <laughs> As they begin to leave. A little help down here. Oh, yeah. As Victor goes back and unlocks the manacles on Leo. Talk to him. As he stands him up and throws him over your way. What's going on, so Solus? <laughs> so, Leo, I'm going to need to come clean here. Very much one of those moments at which uh, you have been owl fished. I <laughs> really call it that. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> gave it a name. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> it's been owl fished. What are you? What do you mean? My name's not Solus. It's Xanron. And I need <laughs> you to understand there was no hard feelings in any of this. We simply <laughs> needed a ride across the river. And I want you to remember that whilst this hurts, did help kill the demon that was going to have killed all of you. So I want you to remember that when you consider everything that's been going on. Because, yes, we lied, but there are more important things like making sure no one gets out of this, or, or that everyone gets out of this alive. There are higher priorities here. And I am so sorry that things had to end this way. I truly, truly am so sorry. Persuasion disadvantage. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh my god, does he still believe I'm Solus? Oh. <laughs> this is all one really rid ridiculous ruse to get across to Baldur's Gate. Still really soulless. As he gives you a wink. Oh wow, okay. And I don't know what to believe. <clears throat> Leo, I would rather you know the truth and keep living knowing the truth than having died believing a lie. Let's put it that way. Again. Sorry it had to come to this. No hard feelings. But also, we wish you no real harm. Wisdom saving throw for Big Steve. <clears throat> Ten. <sighs> Steve is fuming. And you can see he is absolutely furious. Oh, 
All this bullshit. Just to get across the water. Almost get us wrung out. Get our ass kicked. By that fucking demon you run around with. All this because you just wanted to fucking ride? Is that it? If you must know, we did just technically fall from the heavens and crash back into the earth. I don't give a fuck what you did! You know, fair point taken. So if it's no different to you guys, we'll be on our way now. Um... I can see. You got weapons. You're strong. You bullied your way through. It took all of us. We could barely handle your one demon. So whatever infernal work you're going to cast about, do it off this fucking shit. Get the fuck out of here. Whatever you are. Right away, as, as fast as we can possibly manage. And I'm going to back into the rest of the party. Um, by the way, uh, th they'll be back. Um, seeing as they also helped kill the giant demon thing, um, uh, treat them nicely. They're going to expect some payment for that. And I'm going to very swiftly start making for the gangplank. Remember, you are on hold for that. You have to deliver the 30%. Wait, what? We have to? Yes. Oh shit, wait. Yes. <laughs> he put you as the honus to collect the 30%. From the from the revenue of the timber ship. Yes. So it's it's whatever we're paying plus the revenue. How the fuck are we supposed to know that? You cause the shit, you collect the shit. Expensive ride. The rest of the party still doesn't know the bargain that you have struck yet. <laughs> We're all like, sure, let's get the fuck. Greatest news I've heard the entire time. Sorry. We're a bunch of drunk assholes. Wait, so how the fuck am I supposed to figure that out? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Priceline negotiator. Oh, no, Elf is in that corner is oh, taking oh, Thomas out of his bag and is just kind of holding him up in the sky. Turning, it's spinning in a little circle. This is actually sounds very meditating. Mm -hmm. Like a lighthouse? <laughs> yeah. Kind of, yes. We never canceled the light spell, so I think Thomas is still shining. <laughs> he never is like a beacon of hope. Mm -hmm. Beacon of rotten, <clears throat> foul. Uh, oh, fuck. Can I... Um... Can I use like an insight check to see how much the total value of whatever's on the? Okay, so hang on. Okay, thirty percent of what? What's the thirty percent of what I'm paying? Thirty. For? Thirty percent of the of the, uh, the haul of this timber vessel. Okay. Can I use insight to see how much that is, or or something along those lines? Oh yeah. Oh uh, fuck. Okay. Plus 10. Yeah, roguish nonsense, baby. Owl eyes. You know, it's going to be a pretty penny to cover 30% of the vessel. Roughly here, the size of this. On this galleon, there's probably about 10,000 worth of raw materials ready to be brought out. You're looking at a $3,000 tax on top of all your monies from the previous mission. A nice chunk. So we're broke again. <laughs> you have some explaining to do as everyone I'm assuming is now exiting off the vessel. I know oh, Brom is fuck. getting the fuck off of this thing. 
Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Okay, so... <sighs> Nelson's gonna I... head off as well. It tucks Thomas back in the in the satchel. And also cruises off the boat. So, I know nobody is going to be impressed by this, but we did not get off scot-free there. Full disclosure, they want 500 ahead and for us to cover the 30% of the value of the vessel, or rather the goods on the vessel. Uh, what? <laughs> Do you know how much 30% is? I'd what estimate with the size of that, um, if we, uh, if we give them everything we earned as a group from the job, then we're, we're, we're no longer in the red. Unfortunately, that does mean we are now broke, as a joke. And Brom, that very much means we need, uh, to grab however it was that you were paying us, and yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I have no words to say. It was the only, it was the only way they were gonna let Jacob live. It was the only you've way. You've probably got no words to say because you've already said them all. You should have just let him kill me for that much money. Gonna, I I'm agree. Gonna, I'm gonna oh. just look at him quizzically, being like, "Really? You are nearly dead, bro." <laughs> just not even saying that, just with that look on his face, being like, "Why did? Why did we revive you? Why did who? What? Oh god!" <laughs> so, do we owe them money, or we're <laughs> flat at this point? We he, owe he promises, and he promised him all the money we just made. Oh. I mean, your money, my money, Toff's money. Well, 30 percent of what's on the boat, plus and all of our money. I don't have 500. any money yet. <clears throat> Wait, wouldn't we be short then? Because we still need another 500. Uh, no, I, uh, ha, hmm. You see, this is the bit that we absolutely need to stay quiet about. I told him that, uh, I, I would set him 500 gold, uh, per head on each of these, uh, notes. Zanrin! She's gonna punch him. <laughs> Appropriate. I mean, he like she, she's she's <laughs> a little miffed right now, and by a little I mean a lot. Can I can, can I roll to dodge that, or do I just take damage? Because you know what, I, I I'm <laughs> frankly either way, I feel like it's, you know, this is very appropriate. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Oh, um, do I? Uh, do <laughs> Do I uh, do I roll to dodge Biddy attacking me, or do I just no? She damage? just throws the attack. Okay, tries cool. to hit your All right. AC. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, not that. Strikes true. <laughs> About to receive the uh, famous Biddy bitch slap. <laughs> Here it comes. Is that what it is? <laughs> I mean, your oh, unarmed like... strikes yeah. are very notorious oh, at this point. Oh, I didn't mean to do that twice. <laughs> like, <clears throat> oh, dude. Uh, counter plan. What if we all just get our money and then just fuck off? Well, wait. No, he's 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 hunted Marxist. He, he he's gonna know. I I'm saying that as I'm sort of killed over a little bit winded from the. I was to say, while y'all are talking, like, in the background, Betty's just like, WHY WOULD YOU DO THAT?! WE DON'T HAVE THAT KIND OF GOLD, DAMN IT! We will in a bit! No, Nelson's Wrong. still confused. Like, what exactly is the deal? 30% of the... lumber? It's on 30 the boat? 30% of the value of the lumber on the boat. What if they don't have any lumber on the boat? That actually, wait, hang on, could that work? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> or don't have a boat. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nelson, I, um, they, they were very upset about 
um, the, the boat getting um, attacked by demons, and I don't... The boat not being there would probably be worse. We'd probably have to pay for all of the boat too. So let's please not make that a thing, as I'm going to go ahead and point to Biddy, who is, I'm assuming is still utterly furious. Oh yeah, she's fuming at you. What if we don't know that... What if they don't know that we got rid of the boat? I just... <laughs> do we all... Do we know that we got Hunter marked? We know that, right? I just, I, yeah, I just said it, but I mean, you could all believe... You all feel the point. magical presence of the mark going on. So now we're is more... Like a, mean. Is there like a physical mark as well, like that we can <laughs> see? Meth fist itself is a little mole. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Toph will continue to try to scratch away at it, like, utterly confused why it's not disappearing. No, you know, it's more like one that you feel in your heart. Televangel style. Uh -huh. uh, I highly doubt they're going to track six separate people, so why don't we just get our money and go our separate ways? And you, you take your chances, I'll take my chances, and then we just call it a day. What? Already? Oh. I didn't do this job to not get paid. You already owe us anyway. So go rolling around saying you're gonna deport on your own. <clears throat> owe you for what? It was it was Xanarin's plan. <laughs> I think we both share the burden of blame for that plan. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, it's not it's not my fault. That's all I'm saying. So I'm very you very perceptive. So you suggested the locket so that we could all equally take the blame? Yeah, but- I would take no blame. I was very- Obviously your invisibility didn't it. hold up. Obviously someone has- In fact, here's a good question. You were invisible. How did you fail at this? Exactly. How did I fail at this? No, I'm asking you the question. How did you fail at this? You were Yeah, but invisible. I'm asking why wasn't the invisibility working? You think I purposefully got filled full of arrows? I think you could not purposefully do something that gets you filled full of arrows. Don't we only have three hours? <laughs> we need to go. Instead of arguing, we can talk about this later whenever you two would want to hash it out again. But I'd rather not have my head on somebody's wall later. Oh, I should have just let him kill you, man. Well, I'd say we could hide from these guys by using your invisibility, but apparently that won't work. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna figure out what happened, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, oh, so that's the thing. I'm just waiting for that moment. It's gonna be great. Oh my god. So we're gonna give them our money? Yes, because if not, they would have killed Jacob, and they would have tried to kill the rest of us. Oh. You know, sometimes well, tries some the keyword. Sometimes you get saved by a beautiful angel that leaves you with views you will never forget. Sometimes you get saved by a bad deal with a view that you very much wish you could forget. This is the latter time, but the important part in both sentences is that we have been saved. Right. <laughs> Talk a little bit, Brom. <laughs> Can you bring the angel back? <laughs> I feel like Jacob could sink the boat, like, really easily. <laughs> I could definitely sink the boat. And it's a funny that you mentioned that because Brom summons <laughs> those angels. What? What? I mean, as he yeah! begins walking back up the plank towards the boat. What? Uh, Brom. What? <laughs> What are you did? Uh, uh, what? What did that? Why, why are they here? Why? What? Uh, uh, do you? Uh, um, okay. I'm just slowly falling into acceptance of the fact that whatever Brom is trying to do, he's just doing it, and there is, practically speaking, nothing I can or should do to stop him at this point. I have lost all moral authority at this moment in time, and I am only good to sit and splutter. 
and that is it. <laughs> like, there is nothing else I can do, practically. <laughs> Let's make a deal, gentlemen. As those two angels furl out their wings back behind Brom. We got a demon problem on this vessel. We got a blood pentagram downstairs that needs to be cleansed and taken care of. Seeing as such, under the decree that this has now been marked by members of the three, I in fact invoke my right, commandeer this vessel for the Watchers. This one will have to be cleansed before it can be put in use again. As he pulls out another deed and begins to write. This is what you'll need to take to this location to take care of yourself to get a proper vessel. Get things straightened out as far as the cargo and what's left. This will have to be commandeered and cleansed as well. We'll compensate if you can hand me your manifests. We'll be able to take care of this as well. I'm going to go ahead and make this taken care of and wholesale right and now. As he flashes and lets the Watcher's symbol on his armor glow, as his eyes are now completely stark white, and it's as, about as furious as you've seen as he slowly writes out. This will be a persuasion check and advantage. Maybe he should charge him 500 a head for the service. Maybe we should set the boat on fire. Oh, let's go! <laughs> wow. Maybe I should have stayed in that damn portal. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking the same thing. Nelson gives Xanarin a distressed look. No. <laughs> Steve, where are you? Here's your location to receive proper payment. I also need you to take this deed. That man, Victor. Give him this amount of money. This is what you'll need to make that contract in full. Take this, and we'll take care of this mess in Port Always. You get yourself a new vessel, cleansed, and free of this infernal mocking. We can leave this ridiculous situation behind us so both parties can move forward as they look over and look at the markings just grabs it fine as they begin to make their way off the vessel Rom looks back at the rest of the party. Well, looks like we're gonna find out who's good at sailing, and who's not. Cause we're getting the fuck out of town. Get back on board now. Uh, are we running away? No. What about the mark? I just paid our debts. We're gonna lay low so we don't embarrass ourselves any further. Well, 
I'll rest Where easy when this hunter's mark is gone, but... Well, hunter's mark will nothing. leave when they get their payment. Mm. Steve and Leo are bound. They don't get their payment unless they deliver it towards Victor. Let's hope that Victor's a man of his word too. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on board. Where exactly do you think we're supposed to go? Next city up. Water deep. Yeah, fuck it. It's a nice enough town. We did our job here. Let's not cover our faces in mud. But what's in water deep for us? More work, because now you're indebted to me. Not the guild. Not Steve, not Leo. You owe the watchers a day. Oh. So we're so, going to sail one city up. So you brought us this job and now we owe you money? <laughs> You see, Nelson, life can be a real son of a bitch sometimes. But yeah. For some people, yes. I just wrote the check. How does that turkey do with ropes? I mean, the turkey does whatever I want it to. Put it on the helm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thomas kind of like does like a wide beak swipe and gestures down at Thomas who pops out of his bag and heads up to the front of the or back. Where's the back of the ship? <laughs> Where's the steering wheel? Back, right? I don't know. I don't yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's back there, right? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go clean up all the blood. Fucking hate boats. Please do. Jacob's gonna head down to clean up the blood from the pentagram. <laughs> <laughs> he sends the two Mr. Clean like planetar angels down there. To help you as well. Biddy, uh, spawning her echo. Like, well, we don't know much, but I have two of me, so you have four hands over here. I can help wherever I can. <clears throat> Been a hot minute since I sailed anything this big. It goes nothing. As we begin to take the rigging and set the sails to save face and leave Baldur's Gate behind. Cleared out of debt by the Watchers, but now indebted to them to go look at a new city's bounty. That is where we will end this week and go into the after show headed to Waters Deep. <laughs> what? Oh, gosh. <laughs> All this work to get to Baldur's Gate. Peace! <laughs> we reached Baldur's Gate, and now... <laughs> oh... <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get used to never getting in the Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for a new city. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we barely touched the first city. What do you mean? Do we even <laughs> get into the first city? 
We got into the bunghole, and that's where all the fun happened. It's like yeah. flying into an airport and being like, I've been to that state before. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> People that go on vacation, but only know, like, <sighs> a coffee shop. Everyone has been to Georgia by virtue of having sat there in Atlanta airport for 30 minutes, like, waiting for their bags to get that's on the flight. This <laughs> very true. <laughs> As I recant a time in college sitting in a police line where my buddy looks over at me and goes, I may or may not have priors in the state of Illinois. <laughs> well. This is that kind of moment where you go, I've caused too much trouble in this state and I must leave. <laughs> Time to start anew. Cat. <laughs> and we will have this conversation in the after show. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back <laughs> next week. D and D right after this with Witch Lights Arc One End. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye. Bye.